YouTube, it's your Liam back in the video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly sync your Fortnite montages to the song. If you wanna be an on beat montage, whatever, I'm gonna show you guys everything to do step by step. So, pretty much, I got my clips here. Um, the first thing you wanna do when you get on the Share Factory is trim your clips, bro. Some people be saving their clips. I know on PS4, it automatically saves the last 15 minutes, 30 minutes, I believe. So, when you go, when you do get on the Share Factory, you add your clip, whatever. So, for example, come here, add clip. Alright, so I add, so that's 15 second clip. So you're gonna have this big chunk of clip, but the, but the thing you clip will usually be at the end. So around here. What you wanna do is press X, split, confirm. And don't worry how much you split off because if you, let's say I, I split like right here. All right, and this is not, this doesn't work with the music at all. Like it doesn't like on beat at all. So I could just easily go back and trim it, make it longer, whatever. So just trim it to like, maybe like I say like two to three seconds before the actual kill itself. So you can just get like a little, hype up for the clip before it actually like you know say so ends and transits to the next one so i already got this clip on my tie so i'm gonna delete this right now and then pretty much i, I chose this song it's called 6-0 caution it's like one of the good non copyright songs i got pretty good beat drops so pretty much i just start my montage off of a black screen and like transition into the video so if, add a transition before you actually trim it all the way down because if you were to trim this to, to the minimum it would not be able to add transition, so add it before you trim it. So go right in right away. What you guys are gonna have to do to actually like on beat your class is listen to the music. Like listen to all the beats on the music so you know what would be best suitable for the clip itself. Alright, so it's all building up to like the big ass beat drop, you know what I'm saying? So you can see that's like way too early. So literally you gotta be listening to the beat. So play that. Ooh. All right, the beat drops far. So maybe I could low key make this long as hell. Or you could add smart clips in between and make it like, you know what I'm saying, get to the beat drop itself. So in that case, I'm gonna add a quick little clip. Add this right here. But don't, don't make it too unprofessional, bro. Don't make it like lazy. So add like a good, decent clip. Don't make it lazy, bro. Make it, like, put effort to it, bro. Don't add bad clips. Don't add stuff that's really offbeat. That's good right there. Shoot here. Edit. So that's off, all right? That's off by, like, maybe, like, a, like five milliseconds to a second. So what I do is I'll, the first thing I always do is press split clip. And then if you were to go press left, your uh, your L2 button, it will say snip. So pretty much a snip. Look. So look, look at the clip right now. Snip. It snipped off all that little like the little piece of like the clip itself so it's not like a split because splits you can't split right here you know what i'm saying you gotta like take a little good chunk of it to actually split the clip so if you were to snip it you can snip from like wherever pretty much so that can really help you and be beneficial for the on beats itself so let's play right now so you might think that's on beat but i don't know bro i gotta i gotta double check so like i said Listen, like, look for the, the time where you shoot the shotgun and the actual on beat itself, like when the beat and the music actually drop. So, let's see. What I do is I spam my R2. I wouldn't say spam, but I just like press like this to play and stop. So, actually, like, you know, saying see, like, it's on beat. So, whenever I do that method of just tapping your R2 button to play and stop the video, I just try to listen to the actual like beat itself for the beat drop. That's why I'm, that's what I'm focused on. So, what you need to be doing is just focus on the beat and listen to where the beat's at to, in order to sync up the shotgun itself. So, so you see right there, right? You guys thought it was zombie, but in reality, it's really not. <laughs> it's, it's off by like a millisecond, to be honest. So you guys see the beat drop already happened. The shotgun didn't shoot yet. So therefore, I got I got to trim it up again and make it actually on beat. That's why I was. That's where a precision comes in, bro. That's why I be telling y'all on the montages of streams. I make my montage with precision, bro. I got, if if it's on beat by off by a millisecond, I go back and fix it. I'll follow a little, little second, bro. It's like right there. There you go. See so right there, that's actually perfect on me now. There you go. So as you guys see, the beat drop happened in the actual sauna itself and the shotgun shot and you hear the shotgun. So if I want to put this up all the way, which I usually do with max out my clips to 200, 200 volume because you hear the shotguns with the, with the music. So it'll make, it'll make it montage a lot better. So just do that. There you go, bro. Perfect on beat right there. That's a solid on beat for the start of your montage. 
if you have a good like build up to that clip right there like right here i rushed this obviously i probably do put cinematics i'll probably put like maybe like a free build clip but put something that'll keep the viewers intrigued bro put something before the actual on happens to build up the climax for the viewers to actually enjoy and when, oh damn this montage is pretty good and when that first beat drop goes off they'll be like damn this is on beat or whatever I, I like this and they keep watching they're gonna keep watching and that's what you gotta execute and bring out, bring out better clips good clips and just keep going with it so like there's obviously gonna be like little beat drops in the actual clip itself and the music I, I should say sorry so right there you heard that little beat right there that that little beat right there, that, that could be that could be another shock right there. So if you have a, you have like a small clip that's a one tap shock or whatever, you could literally add that in quickly, real quick. Like to be honest, I'm telling you, these little beats matter, bro. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try get the shotgun clip to sync up with the little beat we heard earlier. So that's off, obviously. So I can split right here, snips right. That's off again. Snip another one. Off again by like a couple seconds. So again, if you want to go over, see, make sure it's on beat to the, to the R2 method. So the beat drop already went off, the shotgun did not shoot, so that's off. So the shotgun actually shot a little bit before the beat. I'm telling you, it's, it's always precision, bro. Make sure you guys actually take time with these on beats, bro. Because, for example, I'd be seeing montages like this, bro. The, the beat drop would happen before the clip, but then they'll be like in their heads like, ah, it's synced up, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, it's not precise, that's not, that's not right, bro. Put the effort, that's how you get your best videos out. That little beat drop went off, like I said, it's off, so I'm, gonna, I'm just quickly split this up right quick. Like this on beat. That's pretty much beat right there. So you guys see like those little those little on beat clips will really make the stream not the streamers sorry the viewers it really make the viewers stay tuned to the video and keep watching. So I'm telling y'all these on beats is syncing up the your clips to the music it matters, bro. And don't just do it for the first start of the video like ah I'm gonna get lazy midway I'm gonna get lazy to the end. No 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 execute 100% effort 110% effort through the whole video. That's what makes the montage amazing, bro. That's why I be seeing people all the time. It's like the the one beat the first clip and then after that the rest of the clips is not on beat. It's like nah, bro. That's like that's a lack of effort and it's laziness, bro. Make sure you guys on beat everything. That's the best way to sync up your clips to music. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know down below. If you want me to go more in depth with anything like that, hit me up. I got you. Anyways, drop a like, subscribe, hit this bell, share this video with your friends, bro. And if you guys if you guys like play Fortnite, if you guys add on share for after you have the PS4, PS5 users, share it with your PS4, PS5 users, bro. Let them know. Share Factory can Loki be used in a good way, bro. Share Factory's not as bad as people say. Like obviously it's way behind on Sony Vegas. I was always true Sony Vegas over Share Factory, but Share Factory, you can still do work on it, bro. You feel me? You can still put up a decent montage. If you guys don't check my recent montages, bro, I, I actually did some pretty good cinematics before. All type of different stuff you can do with Share Factory. You, you'll be surprised. But anyway, it's been your boy Liam, and I'm gonna sign out right here. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Keep grinding. Hustle mentality. I'm gonna catch y'all. Peace.